are joined every Tuesday at this time by Nancy Kahalen and Better Business Bureau. You know, we touched on this last week with the New Year's resolutions. And what did we say at the time? What you know, what's number one when it comes to your New Year's resolution? Losing weight, going to the gym, getting back in shape. Well, you and I know that those are our number one resolutions. Who else knows it? The scammers know it. Nancy, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, the scammers, they have resolutions, too, to police <laughs> everybody that's trying to lose weight. <laughs> so it's the, the happiest time of year for them. Oh, so, man, absolutely. Uh, you know, there, are, there are a lot of products out there. I'm sure you've read some of these ads that are unbelievable. Um, and what do they do? They make promises that are simply too good to be true. So we've talked about that before. Uh, does it make sense that you can apply a cream or, or take a, a, you know, a, a pill and fat will magically melt or burn or dissolve away uh, without any exercise? <laughs> does that make sense? You know, so uh, it it doesn't, and uh, I can uh, guarantee that you're you're dealing with a scam if you're reading uh, these kind of promises. Yeah, pills, powders, all of all of that. A lot of them just say uh, take this, and then also drink ten glasses of water a day, and 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 don't eat anything. Uh, but these are some scams that you're going to tell us about that are probably even a little bit more than more than uh that than that form to grab some of our our dough yeah so to give them a little legitimacy a lot of these scams will claim that they've been featured on a popular tv show like shark tank so um they even use pictures of um the shark tank panel uh in their advertising and and if you look that up separately you'll find that those folks are trying to celebrities are are trying to go after the scammers too because um, they're using their images uh, without their permission. So you'll see these ads. Um, there uh, was one um, that said something about gummies, you uh. know, and uh. somebody on the Shark Tank had uh, totally uh, backed this, and it's. It's not true. The ads are misleading. They won't melt your fat. Um, they're not going to give you magically a six-pack. Um, in fact, they could very well in, uh, contain ingredients that could be damaging oh. to your health. Oh. So, you, you know, this this stuff is nothing to, um, to fool with. You should uh, check the ingredients carefully and uh, make sure uh, and and. If you're not sure, check with your doctor to make sure yeah. you're not taking something that could be bad for you. Yeah, I mean, and what does some of those ads say? Right, things like claims not checked by the FDA, not FDA approved, and and other things out there as as well. And and of course, it's it's the hard sell sometimes. It, absolutely, yeah. So one thing that they use is these trial offer kind of techniques. We've talked about that in the past. Uh, yeah. We had a, a consumer report to our scam tracker, and this is a common occurrence, that um, they came across what they now realize was a fake advertisement for a weight loss product, and supposedly it was supported by Shark Tank. Um, they use the names and the pictures of the real people and their results. Uh, they'll often use a before and after photo. This this can all be faked. Um, so um, th this is the one about the, the keto gummies. Yeah. So the advertisement said that you try one bottle and you'd get another one free. And the whole thing would cost you fifty two forty four. So um, instead, this this person gave them their credit card and they were charged $104. So they were charged for both bottles. So they call back right away and um, they wanted to cancel it. And they were told they couldn't cancel because the order had already been shipped. So, and this poor consumer, they go, really? I mean, it hadn't even been five minutes and, and now it's been shipped and I can't cancel it. So then they get on the phone with their credit card company and and I've talked about always use your credit card. It, it gives you some protections. Um, well, this is an example where it does give you some protections, but sometimes they're difficult. Um, they were told by the credit card company that once they got the product, because now the product was in transit, um, supposedly, they should return it for a refund. So then they got it. They actually got the product, 
and um, they fo- followed the company's return p- policies, and then they found out their return policy is there are no returns. <laughs> so they paid $104. They got two bottles of stuff that we know isn't going to work, and they can't return it, uh, and they can't – uh, disputed on their credit card either. Yeah, they, I mean, they, and they I don't got what they paid for. Yeah, I don't mean to 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 laugh, but holy cow, our return policy is we have no return policy, and they and <laughs> you know five minutes you you immediately regret that you have done it, and five minutes. Oh right. yeah, we we shipped out really. I mean, oh my gosh, they just they they just get you. So what do what do we do so that this does not happen to us? Well, there are a number of things we can do. Always be wary of advertisements. Um, when the customer endorsements promise miracle results or immediate weight loss. Anybody that's tried to lose weight knows it's not easy. Um, The FTC um, warns about these shady weight loss products, and they're trying to crack down on companies as well. But they're still out there. You know, if we weren't buying the stuff, if we weren't believing in their promises, they they wouldn't be uh, continuing to do it. Don't trust endorsements. They fake them. So, you know, there might be an endorsement. Some celebrity has had a big weight loss and you're aware of it. And and all of a sudden there's this endorsement. Oh, I use such and such product. It's not true. And so even, you know, now we're back to that miracle promise um, and a a celebrity endorsing it. None of it's true. So um, if they tell you you can lose weight without diet or exercise, come on. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Centers for <laughs> Disease Control say that you should, you know, losing one or two pounds a week is a healthy goal. If they're saying lose 20 pounds your first week, mm-hmm. something's wrong with that. Um, and if you do lose that weight, it could be, it really could be bad for your health. So um, that's why you should always check with the products. Some of the ingredients could have dangerous side effects. And uh, so now, not only have you not lost the weight, you have something else, uh, some other health concern. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we want, you know, we live in a society in which we want it, we want it to happen right away, and we want it to, to, to happen happen quickly. Like I say, sometimes I see these things, and then when I see that, you know, not approved by the FDA, that's a big warning flag for for, for me or or some of the things, Nancy, I mean, you know, quite frankly, you, you say uh, check the list of ingredients. Listen, if there's no ingredients, maybe that's a tip off, too. We don't want to tell you what's exactly. in this thing. Right, right. <laughs> so um, and be, be very um, leery of free trial offers because they become what we call a subscription trap. And so they're hook, they hook consumers into um, expensive shipments that continue to come and they get charged for them and they're ha- very hard to get out of. The thing is, we have to be realistic about our fitness goals, how these, um, you know, how a weight loss plan should work, and don't buy into any of, of these uh, miracle uh, results or immediate uh, yeah. weight loss programs. And Nancy, I think you said this last week too, but I've been thinking about it and you're absolutely right. Friends, report, report, report. Use the BBB as that tool so that you help others not get taken in by one of these scams. Absolutely. You know, when we report what real people say, it seems to hit home a little bit more and help uh, prevent additional victims. Nancy Cahalan, President and CEO, Better Business Bureau, serving Central and Western MA in Northeastern Connecticut. Make sure you're following them on social media. Nancy, thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thanks so much for having me on.